So the first calculation we're going to start with today, guys, is 400 divided by 10. OK, so when we do 400 divided by 10, the place value of our digits here is going to change. So here I have 100, 200, 300, 400. And when I divide by 10, the digits are taking a step to the right on my place value chart. So 400 divided by 10 is... Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and as you can see, the value of my four has changed from four hundred to four tens. Four hundred divided by ten is forty, and you can see the place value of the digit four has changed from four hundred to four tens. Now we're going to focus on forty divided by ten. So now we're going to work out what 40 divided by 10 is and I'm sure all your children at home will be able to tell you that the answer is 4 because they're fantastic at their 10 times table. But showing you here on our place value chart you can see that our value of our 4 is 40 because we're in our 10s column, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now when we divide by 10 we're taking a step to the right on our place value chart. Okay, so 40 divided by 10 means the place value of our digit 4 changes from 4 tens to 4 ones. So 4, 40 divided by 10 is 4. 40 divided by 10 is 4. You can see the place value of the digit 4 has changed from 4 tens to 4 ones. Now we're going to look at 4 divided by 10. Okay, so we've got 4 divided by 10. Currently, our 4 has a place value of 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, because we're in our ones column. Now, we're following the same pattern as before. When we're dividing by 10, the place value of our digits are changing, and it's moving one column to the right. Okay? So the place value is changing from 4 ones to 4 tenths. It's really important to remember that the decimal point does not move, it is fixed. Okay, I've got nothing in my ones column, I've got four in my tenths column. So my answer is going to be four tenths, but we write it as 0 0.4 because I've got nothing in my ones column and I need to use my decimal point here. So four divided by 10 is 0 0.4. And now you can see the place value of the 4 has changed from 4 ones to 4 tenths. It's really important to remember that the decimal point does not move. It's only the place value of the digits that change. So get your cereal out, guys. Grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen and have a go at this. It makes it a lot clearer if you can physically move something along your place value chart. And I hope this helps. I look forward to seeing all your cereal pictures and videos very soon. Well done, everyone. Keep up the good work.